So we just saw the official release for the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe and I saw a lot of W's out there. A lot of you guys told me that you were able to secure your pair for retail. Some people even doubled up and tripled up. But there was some people out there that weren't able to get them at all. They took L's on their raffles. They took L's on the Nike sneakers app. And I'm here to tell you to just to be patient and don't go out and pay resale just yet. Before we get into the video, I just want you guys to know that I am giving away a pair of Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds when I hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. The winner will be getting them in their personal size. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys sub up to the channel, share the video out, let your friends know. We're getting there pretty quickly, so at 10K, the winner will get these in their personal size. Also, I just recently started channel memberships and I got quite a number of you guys already signed up already, man. And thank you to anybody that's already taken advantage of this. And you can do this by go ahead and hitting that join button. And you know, you guys get custom badges and custom emojis that you can use to comment on videos and the live streams that we do here. There's absolutely no pressure, but I do appreciate any and all support. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about these UNC toes, right? We just saw these drop on the Nike sneakers app. 123,000 pairs of the men's sizes were released. That was sort of, I guess, lower than we like actually anticipated. And it seems like every single time there's a hype release, there's some kind of issue with Nike and Jordan brand. You know, with the Lost and Founds, it was the mold. With the Jordan 3 white cements, it was the elephant print not matching up. These, you know what they were doing with these? Bruh. People were actually buying the Air Jordan 1 Marina Blues on a restock, and Nike was sending out these instead. So this really definitely hit the amount of stock that was released on the Nike sneakers app. Um, I don't know how many people this affected. I had several people show up to my live stream and tell me that it happened to them and they got these in the mail. Also in my comment section yesterday, people were telling me that they got these instead of the Marina Blues and then Nike also gave them 20% off their order for the mix up. So I don't know how many people this affected, right? But I'll tell you one thing, it definitely took away from the stock that we were supposed to see on release day for here. But I'm here to tell you, do not go out and pay resale just yet, unless you just got the money to burn and you don't care and you just wanna you know, hurry up and secure the sneaker. I totally get it, right? But in terms of like the Nike sneakers app, I don't think they released all the pairs that they had. I fully expect to see these, you know, show up on a Jordan Reserve or something at some point later down, you know, the line, whether it's a Jordan Reserve or some kind of maybe shock drop, sneakers pass or whatever, you know, that they're gonna do in order to restock these later down the line. We have not seen the last of these on the Nike sneakers app. Also guys, some retailers didn't even get their pairs or get all their pairs. For example, I know Foot Locker got delayed shipments and a lot of you guys told me that you took L's on the Foot Locker like raffles and the Champs raffles and stuff like that. And I really wasn't surprised because they don't really get that many pairs to begin with, but they're expecting these to kind of restock or get the original stock that they were supposed to have for release day. And once again, guys, when it's a hype release, it always seems like there's shipping delays and some kind of other issue every single time, right? So I would definitely just be patient right now. Um, I fully expect once people start getting these pairs in the mail from all the retailers that dropped them and pretty much every retailer had these and then the Nike sneakers app pairs, once they start touching down, people are going to start putting them on GOAT, StockX, eBay, and these prices are going to come down a little bit because they actually went up after the release. Going into the release, they were like 220 or so across all sizes and then pretty much after the sneaker sold out, it shot up like 20, 25 bucks. So right now these are sort of like in that 240, 250 range right now. But you know, once 200, 250,000 pairs or so actually start touching down, and you know, they're gonna put them on these apps guys and the prices are gonna come down a little bit. So I would just be patient, you know what I mean? Just wait like a week, week and a half or so before you guys, you know, make the decision to go ahead and spend money on them because, you know, by then you might not even want them. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing is that, you know, since the prices are gonna come down, you'll probably get the best deal possible, you know, if you just wanna secure these at some point in the very near future. So I would definitely just be patient right now. Um, the other thing is that um, definitely a lot of people told me that, you know, they hit several raffles, like three, four raffles, and then, you know, they only went and picked up like one or two or whatever the case may be. So I would definitely check your local stores you know, because right now that's where you like at your local malls and stuff like that. That's where there's a possibility of getting a pair right now for retail because people, you know, either didn't pick them up or they just, you know, for whatever reason, you know, didn't actually sell out of all the sneakers. So pretty much like Sunday and Monday, that's the day you're going to want to check with your local stores and the mall and stuff like that to see if there's any unclaimed pairs because you might just get lucky and get a pair of these, you know, in your size for retail, you know, at one of those stores. So just something to throw out there, guys. So just be patient right now. I know it's like the most hype release of the month. I know, you know, it's a sneaker that if you missed out on, like you feel like terrible that you weren't able to get it because you probably did do a lot of footwork. These were 
obtainable if you put in a ton of work but you know nothing is 100% like all the time just because you put that work in um, there's only a finite number of pairs and right now like you know it was just the most hype release it's just been so dry everybody wanted these so um, like I said guys people didn't pick them up you know pretty much at every retailer you know people definitely you know left these sitting behind you know for whatever reason and so I would definitely check your local stores wait for the prices to come down and then you know definitely wait for Foot Locker and Champs and some of these other retailers that didn't get their original pairs in yet to go ahead and start selling them in store or via raffle so it's a dope shoe guys and um, you know congrats to everybody that was able to hit and i'll catch you guys in the next video really really soon i love you all thank you all for the support i'm out peace for more sneaker content make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video